Hey, this is Pastor Lyle. Hey, we're going to continue our conversation we have with Jesus in Genesis. Today I'm coming from you from Genesis chapter 3, verse 15. Now we know Genesis chapter 3 was the fall of man. And here in verse 15, you know, God, he, there's three things here we got to look at in verse 15 that, that God talks about to the devil, right? Let me read what it says here. It says, and I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your seed and her seed. He will crush your head, and you will strike his heel. And it can, I like the way it starts, and so there's a continuation, right? God already put him in, so you know you're going to eat dirt the rest of your life, right? But I'm also going to bring this on to you. There's going to be an enmity between you and the woman. Enmity is, is hostility against what's righteousness of God against us. So it's, it's total hostilities that the devil wants to bring. And what's he wants to do? He wants to steal, kill, and destroy all the righteousness there is of God, right? And who is this woman he's talking about here, right? And I looked at that and said, it's the bride of Christ. It's the church that God established to bring victory over the devil. He's using us to put the devil away. That's why he came here to give us that word to bring victory over those things in our lifestyles, right? And I, uh, Jesus talks to Peter about this, right? He says, and he says to Peter, says, upon this rock, I will build my church. Remember, it's his church. It's nobody else's church. I don't care what denomination you are. It's our only one church, and that is Jesus Christ. He says so right there. Upon this rock, I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. That means we have already have victory over it. It's the word. This thing, remember, the rock is Jesus Christ. It's the word of God. So the bride of Christ, you know. And he talks about that a couple of times, too, you know, in, in the banquet halls. He talks about that in Matthew 22. Right. And also in Paul talks about this, the second Corinthians uh, verse 11 or chapter 11 and verse two, he talks about this. I promise you to one husband to Christ. Right. And that I might present you as a pure virgin to him. So how can I become a pure virgin? Well, you have to receive Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. That's the only way you become pure enough to be in the Lamb of God, to be in the banquet, to be the wedding banquet hall, is you got to have purity, right? And in verse, you know, in Revelations and 19 and 7 also talks about this, the wedding here, right? It says, for the wedding of the Lamb has come, right? And his bride has made herself ready. And we are. We're making ourselves ready. How do we make ourselves ready? Well, we have to go out there. We have to stand firm in our faith that Jesus Christ and his word is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. We stand on that's our firm foundation. That's how we make ourselves ready. We have to believe it and we have to show it. We have to live it. We have to, like, like sportsmen say, you know, I eat, drink, and sleep my sports. You know, that we need to do the same thing through Jesus Christ. We need to, that, to stand firm on all those things. So the church the woman is the church and the bride of Christ here in this verse, right? And between your seed and her seed. Well, we know what his seed is, to steal, kill, and destroy all that is of God. And, and we are the seed. Christ is that seed. He brought us that seed that brings us that victory that we had, right? You know, and Jesus uses that in a couple of parables, you know, with the farmers and spreading their seed out into, into their fields, right? And, the, and you remember the disciples asked us, so the Lord explain this parable. What are, you, what are you talking about the seed, right? And in Mark uh, 4 and 14, you know, this is in the farmer sowed the word. You know, in Matthew 13 and 3 it says, thing, and the farmer sowed the word. It's the word of God. Who, who's, our, who's our field? It's the world is our field. And we are the sowers who go out there and go sow that word of righteousness to God, the power of God into all mankind throughout the world. That's why he says, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and Son, and the Holy Spirit. You know, that's our, you know, we need to go out there and do that. And Peter talks about this in 1 Peter 1 and 23, right? It says, for you have been born again. It says, born again, you know, the only way you can be born again is you got to have received Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. No, Jesus tells this to Nicodemus in John chapter 3. He says, you must be born again in order to receive this seed, right? But of not of perishable seed, but of imperishable, right? Through the living and enduring word of God. See, there it is. There's that word of God. It's that seed is the word of God that dwells inside of us, right? And let's continue on. It says, and he will crush your head and you will strike his heel. When Jesus was on the cross, the devil struck Jesus on the heel going, yes, victory is finally mine. Hallelujah. He's out of my way, right? But Jesus, when he died three days later, he rose up from the grave and he crushed 
Satan's head. He defeated death, right? He took the sting away. That's where our victory is, is at right now. That's our crush. And Satan, God destroyed him, you know. So God is using this verse 15, right? We're talking about three things. We're talking about the church. We're talking about the word of God. Those are two things that give us our victory over the devil. The church is, you know, we come together as one. And the word of God, you know, is what gives us that strength. And Jesus says, you know what? I'm destroying you, devil. I'm going to destroy you in Calvary, but I'm going to come back later and I'm going to throw you in the pits of hell. We'll never, ever hurt my people again in my creation. So stay tuned. Let's continue on for Jesus in Genesis. <laughs>